Okay, here is the Torf Wizard uh, deployed for 2018, uh, a new feature in Race Manager for creating your Torf so you can upload to our website uh, in the uploader. This should compile your Torf and you will need to also PDF your finishes and any memberships that you have. And you can do that all digitally and now upload. So let's start out with a couple basics about race setup before we get into the Torf wizard. Uh, this will be very important as you set up each race, create the event and create the race like you always would, but be very aware of what the race class and the race type is. Um, any fees associated with those races, the tour fees change based on uh, race for life, so Olympic days, scholarship races. Obviously, the race for, or Olympic day is a free event for everybody. So, if you want your tour to display the proper fees, make sure in setting up the race, you have set up the type of race that you are actually running that day. So, when you get to the tour wizard, all of your fees correlate to the race. In terms of you know state races, gold cups, those have different tour fees. So make sure if you're running one of those events, you uh, then choose state and state final or the state uh, double point state race or triple point state race as again, those have different fees. For the purpose of this, we're gonna leave it a standard district race. And one other thing to note before you get into your Torf wizard is make sure after the race has ran, that you score the race. You will need a fully scored race to do the Torf Wizard. So in the scoring grid, you see that we've got everybody racing, has scores, the total point classes, or the transfer rounds. And then in the main tab, we've got the correlating scores uh, for all of those classes for the day. So make sure your entire race is scored. If you need to know how to score, there's a separate video for scoring, but just again, make sure the race is fully scored. And since you've got your race scored, you can go to reports and moto sheets for anybody that didn't know how to do this and choose print with finishes and preview that. On the preview screen, you'll notice it says finishes. That's a fully scored digital copy of your race. So use the export, export button, always the furthest right button in the preview screen of any print window in Race Manager and export the PDF. Save it to a folder where you know where it is, call it something related to the race so that when you get into the TORF uploader on the track dashboard, you you know you have all your files in place. So we'll go ahead and save it. No need to open it at the moment, but then that gets us into the one last thing before you, you create TORFs. Something to know of is that during registration, if you happen to run the scholarship races, Race for Life, so Olympic Days, those type of promotional events where we offer a no charge one day, um, you'll want that to correlate on your TORF correctly so you're not paying a dollar per rider on that. So whenever you're adding a new membership on one of those days, make sure that the membership type is not a one day trial, but a promo one day. The promo one day will leave no fees and didn't choose it, promo one day. You'll notice the membership fee is zero. And in the case of the one day trial, you know, the membership fee to them is still zero. But the difference is on your promo one day, when you get into the TORF, you won't have a charge for that one day for things like Race for Life's Olympic Days scholarship race. So now, in reports, you'll see TORF, Track Operator Reporting Form. Once you're in there, it's a TORF wizard. There's three different uh, steps to this. We'll move on to step one. And that screen warned you of all the basics that I just talked about, your race setup and scoring your race, things like that. So you'll notice that you can't move on to step two. Uh, the next button is grayed out. That is because we need to add a head official. So go into edit and put a head official in there. Also, just like the back of the previous paper TORF, it allows you to document any injuries that happened. You do that by click clicking this green plus button 
If you know the member serial number, you can type it in. If you do not, hit the small little lookup button next to it, and you can select a member. Select them, then it's going to ask you for their injury type. And what happened and where it occurred. If you have multiple injuries, you can continue adding those. If you accidentally add one and want to get rid of it, you just simply hit that delete button. Once you have your head official and any, injury, any injuries documented, hit save. And now you can see the next button to move on to step two is available. So we'll click next. And in this case, it's verifying that the scores and obviously, if your event was canceled, it would be pushing on through. Uh, it doesn't need any scores because, again, we fully scored the race. But if it did, it's going to ask you to score the race. In step three, you're going to be able to review your TORF. You'll be able to see any fees that you owe us and make any adjustments needed. So we'll just review this TORF to get an idea of first what it looks like and, again, the different variables. So we have the regular standard single point local race, which has the $20 sanction fee. And then we have the minimum amount of riders. So $30 insurance fee for a total of 50. We did sell a couple renewals and one new balance bike member today. So you can see those fees correlate there, $60, then 120, and obviously the 30 for $150 in membership fees, which makes a $200 TORF. On the next page, you've got the membership sign-up details, just as you used to list all the members that you sold members for. Uh, and again, there's the renewals, there's our new membership, same total transposes over. The next page is going to be the details of what type of race it was and the rider count and moto count. The next page, if you were to be registering practice participants on either a practice night or a race night, which you need to do and you need to log, they would then show up here for counting purposes of knowing who was there as practice only participants. So we didn't have any practicers on this one, but if we did, the names would be listed there. And on the last page is the injuries. You can see we had the wrist injury, the one I input during the TORF wizard in the previous step. So there's the TORF, that's a draft format, so you can check and every, make sure everything's okay. If you've got some variables such as the membership had the credit card number written on it and we're actually going to run that credit card instead of you paying it cash or through your track account then payments made directly to the sanction if one of those was a $60 credit card personal credit card of the rider you would put the $60 there you'll notice it now says there's a track payment of $140 and a payment made directly to the sanction clearly from a rider membership, $60 to equal still the $200 payment. So we'll take a quick look and see how that looks. And you can see track payment, uh, rider checks and credit cards paid to the sanction, $60 for 200, just like on the paper tour where you were able to uh, account for those type of things. And then of course, the last part to account for, we'll take that back out, is if you happen to end up with a test membership on the screen, or you had to uh, push a renewal through that ended up not paying and you're not turning that in, uh, you can make those adjustments because those fees are going to get into this TORF and you would need to remove them. So in that case, we will say one of those memberships today will take off. Sorry, you need to do a negative number to take anything off. So third, And in the case that something wasn't being counted that you need to add in, Again, you can add that in here too. But in this case, we're gonna take off $30 and then we'll put membership adjustment for Johnny BMX did not purchase. And if you review the TORF now, you'll see $30 was taken off the total. So we only real, only real 0170. Membership adjustment for Johnny BMX, did not purchase, just as I put in. And you can see over here, we had a $30 balance bike membership for BMX Johnny. If he, uh, you did the membership and then the parents said, you know what, never mind, we have to leave, we'll come back next week. You know, you did a membership, but you're not turning that in because you're not paying it to us. So you can deduct those fees right there. And in the case that there was a membership 
you know, turned in, that's a simple renewal that's not a part of the TORF. Somehow it was outside of the race window, you did it a different time and you want to add it. You can do that same thing by adding maybe a $60 full membership. So you're actually going to pay us $260 and you then put in there what the adjustment was for that there's an extra membership in there. And of course, make sure you upload that membership to us so it all makes sense. But you know, you can make small minor adjustments if, if something is not adding up to what you really have to turn in. So in this case, we're going to move everything. We will move on to the next screen as the standard TORF that we had going. And you're going to click next for the final step. And in this step, you can review the TORF again, double check that all of your edits have been made. And this is the one you want to certify and then go ahead and put your name in there. And when you certify the TORF, it's then going to leave you an area to print a certified TORF. Notice in this section, it no longer says draft across it. So again, use that export button for this right button on the preview screen to export a PDF. And again, name it something that you would be able to find later. Save it. Once that's saved, we are done with the TORF wizard. Go to the next step and click finish. That then exits you out of the TORF wizard. You're essentially done with the TORF. You're done with the memberships and you're done with scoring the race. So the only thing left to do is go to the track dashboard, go to the uploader and choose to upload your TORF. Fill out the proper info for your track and then you can drag the files or browse for them. Know where that folder is. And again, there's our files that we had prepared. Upload those. You would also need to add in the copies of the membership and then click upload. At that point, as long as you have a credit card on file with accounting, everything should be set. So that's the TORF wizard. Again, just make sure in setting up your event that you've got the proper event set up. And remember on the Race for Life scholarship and Olympic day races to use the promo one day and all of your fees should correlate properly and you should be able to use the TORF wizard without any problem.